alive because of the protective elements provided in the fluid surrounding them. Next, the sperm must pass through the cervix, an opening into the uterus. Usually, it remains tightly closed, but here the cervix is open for a few days while the woman ovulates. The sperm swim through the cervical mucus, which is thinned to a more watery consistency for easier passage. Once inside the cervix, the sperm continues swimming toward the uterus, though millions will die trying to make it through the mucus. Some sperm remain behind, caught in the folds of the cervix, but they may later continue the journey as a backup to the first group. Inside the uterus, muscular uterine contractions assist the sperm on their journey toward the egg. However, resident cells from the woman's immune system, mistaking the sperm for foreign invaders, destroy thousands more. Now, only a few thousand remain. Inside the fallopian tube, tiny cilia push the egg toward the uterus. To continue, the sperm must surge against this motion to reach the egg. Some sperm get trapped in the cilia and die. During this part of the journey, chemicals in the reproductive tract cause the membranes covering the heads of the sperm to change. As a result, the sperm become hyperactive, swimming harder and faster toward their destination. The sperm must push through this layer to reach the outer layer of the egg, the zona pellucida. When sperm reach the zona pellucida, they attach to specialized sperm receptors on the surface, which triggers their acrosomes to release digestive enzymes, enabling the sperm to burrow into the layer. Inside the zona pellucida is a narrow, fluid-filled space just outside the egg cell membrane. The first sperm to make contact will fertilize the egg. After a perilous journey and against incredible odds, a single sperm attaches to the egg cell membrane. Within a few minutes, the outer membranes fuse and the egg pulls the sperm inside. This event causes changes in the egg membrane that prevent other sperm from attaching to it. Next, the egg releases chemicals that push other sperm away from the egg and create an impenetrable fertilization membrane. As the reaction spreads outward, the zona pellucida hardens, trapping any sperm unlucky enough to be caught inside. Outside the egg, sperm are no longer able to attach to the zona pellucida. Meanwhile, inside the egg, the tightly packed male genetic material spreads out. A new membrane forms around the genetic material, creating the male pronucleus. Inside, the genetic material reforms into 23 chromosomes. The female genetic material, awakened by the fusion of the sperm with the egg, finishes dividing, resulting in the female pronucleus, which also contains 23 chromosomes. As the male and female pronuclei form, spiderweb-like threads, called microtubules, pull them toward each other. The two sets of chromosomes join together, completing the process of fertilization. At this moment, a unique genetic code arises, instantly determining gender, hair color, eye color, and hundreds of other characteristics. This new single cell, the zygote, is the beginning of a new human being. These two sets represent the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. Now, during intercourse, the sperm, which looks like a serpent seed, it breaks through the outer membrane of the egg and fertilizes the egg, and then the genetic material splits and is released and the seed of the serpent, or the, let's call it the sperm, disperses its genetic material and it forms into its 23 chromosomes, as does the seed of the woman, the egg. Now, let's see what happens when they go towards each other. And then they go towards each other 
and they move towards each other and then they intersect in of the all-seeing eye. That's what that is, the intersection. One is right side up and one is upside down. We added another graphic so you can see how obvious the eye is and that is the new race of beings just like Lady Gaga said my performance at the Grammy Awards is about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race and that's what's in the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti and everything else I've shown you there is a seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman together with an X in the middle you're looking at the grounds of Washington DC you're looking at the Washington Monument I've tried to show you all this in the best way I can and this is the best way I can explain it to you that is the all-seeing eye that was the goal our vision was their goal our eyes would be open the all-seeing eye there it is there you go people there it is X marks the spot right there and eyes are and now everything's to the right and to the left. And there it is. There the alien eyes are to the right of the screen. And there's the all-seen eye, the penis of Osiris, and the intersection of the two sets. There it is.